Hello dear students, let us start with month wise depreciation calculation when we are applying reducing balance method. Let me read the exercise for you. Mr. Raza bought a computer equipment on 30th July 2019. This is the actual date uh, on which we have bought the asset and the original cost was $100. Now here for uh, Mr. Raza or Mr. Riyadi is the same, uh, is ending on 31st March. Okay, so the year is ending on 31st March, then the year must have been started on 1st of April. Uh, we have sold the equipment on January 22, that is last year, and the depreciation rate is 20% per annum on NBV. So NBV means net book value, and you remember from your earlier studies that whenever we charge depreciation on net book value, so therefore it's a reducing balance method, RBM method. Okay, so requirement, uh, what's the requirement? We need to uh, requirement is calculate depreciation expense for the years ending on 31st March 2020, 21, and 22. So basically, we have to chart depreciation for the three years. So the first year that we do have is 31st March 2020. Now the computer that we bought uh, was on 30th July, and the original cost of that was 100,000. Now the first year is ending on March 2020. So uh, in a reducing balance, we usually charge depreciation on book value, but uh, as you can see, uh, the first year, the book value that we do have is uh, the original cost. Why? Because there is no prior depreciation for a new computer. So we need to charge depreciation on 100,000 only, and we need to apply 25% 100,000. Uh, so the answer would be 25,000. But this 25,000, my dear students, is depreciation for the entire year. Now, as you can see, we have uh, the year is ending on March 2020, so it must have been started on April 2019. Okay, so the year is start, starting on April, but we have bought the asset on end of July. So April, May, June, July. Now, as you can see, four months April, May, June, July, we didn't have this computer. Instead, we have bought the computer on end of the July. Okay. So the usage of this computer or depreciation will start from 1st of August, okay? Not from July, but from August. So we'll be counting depreciation from August till March. So it will be eight months. We can count it again from August, September, October, November, December. These are five months. Then January, February, March, okay? So this would be eight months. So we need to charge depreciation for eight months only because it's a month-wise policy. If instead it was a full year policy, then we do not need to do this 8 upon 12. Instead, we are going to charge a full year depreciation that is 25,000. But in this case, we are only charging depreciation 16,667. So what happens in next year, we need to deduct this depreciation from the original cost. And we are left with a value that is net book value that is 8333. And then in the next year that when we are going to charge depreciation, we are going to apply 25% on not the original cost, but instead the net book value. Okay. So in the uh, 8333 net book value, we are going to apply depreciation that is 25%. But in this year, we do not need to uh, go for month wise. Why? Because we haven't bought the asset this year. It was bought. The computer we bought uh, was on the previous year. Okay. So in the previous year, we just used the computer for eight months, but in the this year, this year we are going to charge depreciation for the entire year. So again, uh, uh, if we deduct this year's depreciation from the previous year netbook value, then we are left with another netbook value that is updated netbook value that is 62,500. And in the last year that is 22, again we are need to uh, we need to charge depreciation, but in this case we are not going to charge depreciation on 100,000 or 8333. Instead we are going to charge 25% on the up-to-date netbook value that is 62,500, okay? So again, we need to see uh, either have we sold the asset uh, halfway through the year or we are, have used the asset for the entire year. Now, as you can see, the year is ending on March, but we have sold the asset on 1st January. Now, you can always count the months that are lesser. Uh, we, if we have sold the asset on January, so this means we have just used the asset till December, okay, December 21. So uh, let us count January, February, March, that is last three months we have sold the computer. So we have just used the asset for the first nine months, okay. So we need to charge depreciation for nine months. 
so this would be a depreciation and we do not need to calculate further net book value if we do not need to calculate the depreciation for 23 okay so this net book value uh, will be required when we are going to chart depreciation in 23 okay year 23 so this is the depreciation using reducing balance method let us do one more exercise for that in order to make sure that we understand this so these are my, my own exercises uh, we have last exercise that is question number 16, Mr. Darolia. This is my surname. Mr. Darolia bought a motor vehicle on 1st November 2018 for 120,000. This is the original cost. Again, year is ending on August. So if the year is not ending on December, so there sometimes students get confused in this. So it's pretty much straightforward. You just need to uh, remember the months. Okay. If you uh, don't remember that, you can always contact your younger brothers and sisters who are studying that so uh, he sold the vehicle on uh, which date on 28 february 21 okay so the depreciation is being charged 15 percent that is reducing balance method rbm method so what we need to do we need to charge depreciation for three years again uh, 29 20 and 20 okay so we have bought the asset on november 28 and the first year that is being ended is on 2019 31st august 2019 so in the first year uh, Either it's a straight line or a reducing balance, we always charge depreciation on original cost. Uh, but in the straight line, we continue to charge depreciation on the original cost. But in reducing balance, uh, in the next year, we charge depreciation on the net book value and not the original cost. Okay, So we need to charge 15% and this would be the depreciation for entire year. So 15% of 120, it would be 18,000, I guess. So 18,000 depreciation is for the entire year, but we need to count the months, okay? Uh, if the year is ending in August, therefore the year must have been started on 1st September. After August become, comes September. So we haven't used the, uh, we haven't bought the asset from on September, but uh, from September, October and November. Now, as you can see, we do not have the asset for the first two months, that is September, October. Instead, we have bought the asset on November. So we need to charge 10 months depreciation out of 12. So we need to multiply 10 out of 12. So the depreciation would be 15,000. If we deduct this, then we have an NDV net book value of 105,000. And in the next year, again, we need to charge depreciation 15%. Uh, but this time we are going to charge not on the original cost, but on the net book value. Now, as you can see, there is no or months need to be calculated in the second year. Why? Because we have used the asset for the entire year. But what happens in the third year, that is 21. In 21, as you can see, we have sold the asset. And if instead we haven't sold the asset, then we need to charge depreciation for the entire year, if it's a month-wise policy. Now, but now as you can see, the year is ending in August, but we have sold the asset on February. So uh, this means we just need to charge depreciation till February and not the uh, end of the year, that is August, okay? So uh, if we have sold the asset on February, we are not going to charge depreciation after February. So let us count the months after February. After February becomes March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, so it's six months, I guess. So let me count from the start again, in, just to make sure. If the year is ending in August, so year must have been started on September. So we have used the asset from September till February. Let us count September till February, September, October, November, December, January, five months, then February, again, six months. Okay, either way the answer would be the same. Either we count the, as the months that we have used or we count the months that we have not used and we need to deduct from the total 12 months. Okay, so we need to chart depreciation for half year in the last year. Why? Because we have just used the asset for half year and then we have sold the asset. So this would be the depreciation for the third year. We do not need net book value after that, but we can calculate in case we need, uh, need to calculate depreciation for the next year after that, maybe 22. So this is the depreciation. These are the final answers, the ones that are represented by the boxes. So I hope my dear students, you are able to understand this.